This is uh, Gina's workshop. This is uh, one of the fundamental aspects of our process, which is a, a, an aluminium cast to make the pewter casts. We're moving across to the potter's wheel. Here's Gina. Hello, Gina. Hi. <laughs> How did you become interested in using pewter as a material? Well, I was made aware of a material because I saw you using pewter when you cast some work on behalf of one of your colleagues. Subsequently, my interest in the potentially unctuous qualities of the material led me to visit an exhibition at the Museum of London. I think it was called Pewter, a Celebration of the Craft. And this was in about 1989, I think. What particularly held my attention was the artisan narratives and the use of imagery and the rigor work and on the plates and, and the charges. I felt I could apply this principle to my own design ideas, but give them a contemporary twist. to emulate the graphic style of the early 20th century, whilst introducing a more formal and less flamboyant image of dance than the one offered by the gay abandon of the Charleston or the black bottom and their bearings. The restraint held in my image seems more in keeping with the response to the economic decline of the 1920s, and perhaps the social distancing which dictates our present life. 